Good morning, good morning. No copyright for me. Boom, 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 boom. Good morning, y'all. So, I just wanted to check in. Um, I have been on my uh, weight loss journey, as you all know. For some time now, uh, when dealing with depression and everything else, it's a little difficult to navigate. Um, however, I've been putting in the work and um, there's several, there's a process you have to go through to get weight loss surgery. Um, Thank you guys. So I was gonna vent to you guys about it, but <laughs> I was just told not to. <laughs> um Thank you guys. Everything's gonna be okay. So I don't need to vent because my story is not done. It has not been written for me, and only God can write my story. Not a doctor, not a PhD degree, not a license. Only God. So with that being said, <laughs> that concludes my little vent session because I don't need to vent. I don't have anything to vent about. He gonna fix it. He gonna fix it. Um, I am eating my two boiled eggs and grapefruit, and I am about to start episode nine of Married to Medicine. So, come on, y'all. Let's get into it. So, Married to Medicine, season 10 episode nine is called good vibrations so we'll see if they vibing high or low because lately they've been giving off low vibrations so we'll see we'll see <laughs> so you know in the beginning they kind of give a little glimpse of what everybody got going on in the beginning dr gregory was looking for sweet tea in the house Y'all, why is she in the room doing a TikTok for he's talking about he hungry? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <sighs> he say, girl, get off that dang TikTok. <laughs> you know how old people talk. Girl, go feed your man and stop. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Classy, bougie, ratchet. You better go get your ass in that kitchen. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Debrat is was so cute pregnant. She was so cute pregnant. But um, as you know, she's one of Dr. Jackie's clients. Or excuse me, not clients, patients. <clears throat> she's one of her patients. So she's doing like a two month check in with her. Coming up with their uh, plan for birth. And BB Judy in there snitching on her every single appointment. BB Judy tells Jackie, uh uh, she ain't been eating right. Mm -mm. She went to Wendy's. Mm -mm. She got me ordering Chinese too. <laughs> Look, it's okay to snitch if it means saving somebody's life, okay? And in this case, you're carrying our child. So, I'm going to tell the doctor if you ain't doing what you're supposed to do and you're not listening to me. <laughs> but I love their interactions. It's always so cute. And if y'all love the brat like I do, make sure y'all check out their special of them actually having a baby. So we checked in with <clears throat> Toya and Dr. Eugene and the kids were gone for the night. So they were having like a date night in the house. Toya, however, did not like the idea of that. She 
She says, we do this all the time. This is not romantic. You need to romance me. He said, I work 12 hour days in the emergency room. Now, y'all know how busy an emergency room is. Hell, in my area, you go there at 7, you're not getting seen till 11, and you're not leaving at 3 p.m. That's all day long, and that's one patient. So just imagine how many patients he actually got to see in them 12 hours and what he had to do. Girl, you knew what you signed up for when you married a doctor. Now, I'm not saying, oh, being lazy is okay. But sometimes if that man is tired or if that woman is tired, they tired. It's not like you it's, You can't fuss somebody out and make them less tired. If anything, you're draining them more. So if you thought he had, if you thought he had little to no energy before, how much energy do you think he has after you done nagged him for 20 minutes about being tired and not taking you out on dates? So yeah, coming from another woman, it is plenty of people out here that is probably in that man DMs. Better hold on. That's just one to one to hold on. Because always another woman out here to say, oh, I can do it. And I ain't gonna nag him either. So I'm just gonna eat my grapefruit and try to get skinny and try to unbeak this back as we watch some more. So we pick up with <laughs> Dr. Simone and her husband. And they are getting the condo ready for Michael and Miles. As I stated on the previous video, those are her kids and she bought an investment property condo, a condo, and they're going to be staying there. Uh, Michael has one year rent free, Miles has two years. Miles is the younger brother, Michael is the older brother. Um, so she asked the husband, hi, do you think it's bad that, well not do you think it's bad, how often do you think it's acceptable for me to pop in? And he said, I'm going to pop in all the time. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's your property. I mean, and it's your kids. I mean, you know, do what you want to do with that. And, um, this, I'm going to pop in all the time. What you know, okay, you gonna pop in, make sure they clean up. So he said, no, I'm gonna come and kick it. That is such a dad. <laughs> that is such a dad. <laughs> he said, hey, making sure they clean up. And then if you would've lived in filth, you were right ahead. Because you the one that's gonna suffer. And if you don't develop good cleaning habits, it's gonna be ooh, tough on you living alone. That's all I'm gonna say. You gotta find your rhythm. Find your rhythm. I had to find it. I wasn't the cleanest person before I moved out on my own. And I realized I don't like my man's dad. So, we yeah, get it. Now we here at Heaven's house. Y'all, this grateful is phenomenal. So, Heavenly and Zaddy. <laughs> Girl, don't beat me up. <laughs> Heavenly and her husband um, are just discussing becoming, discussing, excuse me, becoming empty nesters. And it's really nice to see parents who are in a rush to get rid of their kids, you know? Um, her, uh, Dr. Damon was actually like turning up in the confessional. You know, that's his baby girl. You know, I'm pretty sure all fathers are like that with they 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 girls. <laughs> some about them girls just do something to the to the daddies. You know, all kids are special, but you know, some about us girls is just you know we be having our daddy wrapped. We be having our daddies wrapped. I had me, me and my sister. 
My daddy did anything he could. So, it's just nice to see, you know, the him expressing his emotions openly. Now we pick back up with Dr. Simone. They got a whole Costco bag of condoms on this on this countertop, child. Y'all really think y'all kids? You never know. <laughs> they probably is. They probably are. For real, for real. They probably are. They on TV too. Yeah, they getting some booty. She doing right. I'm wrap it up, folks. So we pick back up with uh, Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Daniel, and they um are talking about the importance of family and if, you know, you're not seeing eye to eye with family members to make it right. Because at the end of the day, family is all you have. So, once again, make it right. Reach out. Dr. Damon made a point about us waiting and waiting and waiting. And then when we finally do have those conversations, it's around a service after someone's past. And truth be told, nobody knows when their time is. So, reach out. Please try. Oh, Dr. Alicia and um Phaedra met up at a restaurant. Just to catch up, Kiki talk about life, healing, quad. Always find a way in, you know, these conversations. Um Phaedra felt like quad kind of stabbed her in the back for speaking about what Gregory told her to Heavenly. But she still ain't talk bad about Quad. She was just like, you know, you know Heavenly can't hold water. So she the last person you need to go tell anybody business to, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a little cute moment. It's nice to see the newcomers on the show get together and, you know, have a good time without being around the OG. Like, they don't need the OGs to give presents or to, you know, get camera time, you know? It would have been nice to see Sweet Tea roll up in there with them. You know, that would have been a nice little trio, I feel like. Um, maybe Phaedra isn't ready to do that because she is still friends with Quad. But I honestly feel like Quad and Sweet Tea don't even have an issue. So, yeah, it would have been nice to see... Alicia, Phaedra, and Sweet Tea together, you know, without the OGs. But other than that, I don't really have much to say about this scene. It's pretty basic. I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. Phaedra stay with some one one liners, boy. She said, "These ladies could benefit from Reiki healing, which is something that she's doing now." She said. These women, these ladies go from zero to 100 in two seconds. The acceleration of their emotions are quicker than any Porsche that she has driven. That is a one-liner, boy. Saying that somebody can, that you damn that bipolar. The range of emotions, that means she ain't saying just one. Emotions is plural. So the range of emotions accelerate which means you going from mad to happy to say it at a quick pace she say quicker than any Porsche she has driven now I have never driven a Porsche so my Porsche drivers can comment and tell me how fast they go but I'm just going to assume they go pretty fast since it's a luxury car so the fact that you can get upset quicker than it takes a Porsche to get down the street is crazy Therapy. Therapy. Everybody can benefit. Because if you get that mad that quick. Therapy. Say it with me. Therapy. 
T H E R A P Y. That helps, guys. So we checked in with Dr. G and Sweet T, and they're discussing her uh, fertility issues and, you know, her appointments and stuff that she has. <clears throat> He expressed that she's his number one concern. Although in the confessionals, he did say it's a little frustrating that they have to push their baby making process back to look into her fertility and possible surgery and just all of her options, which is kind of delay the process. So he says it's a little frustrating with his age because he, he wanted a baby like 20 years ago. So that I feel for them because I know firsthand how frustrating that could be and um being someone who has dealt with a loss and not knowing if I'll ever it's a lot. It's a lot. So I feel for her. I feel for her for sure. I feel for the both of them. I feel for the both of them. <clears throat> I do. Now, if I could be just a little messy, because I wouldn't be me if I didn't play that was advocate. You reached out to that man and basically offered up your baby making vagina. But you had no knowledge of your infertility. Now it's possible, especially if you was bleeding regularly, you didn't know. But before you offer something, you should just do the research. But they're married now. So, with his expertise and his money, hopefully they can get the answers that they're looking for and get started. I wish them nothing but the best. Everybody that want kids, I want them to be able to have them in some sort of way, whether it's have them biologically or adopt, surrogate, whatever. There's plenty of options out there. And I myself will have to be looking into some of those options. I will. <clears throat> but um, I can't say too much. Cause Sweet Tea got her husband. Extra large does not. So with that being said, I'm finna push play. And man, my, my God. Dr. Eugene did what Toya suggested. Took them out on a date. He took it to a fancy butcher shop where a private chef prepared dinner for them. Toya gave it a 7 out of 10. She said Eugene took them there for him because he likes to cook and said he had more fun with the chef who was a, another black man by the way. Said it looked like he was on a date with him and he was enjoying the chef more than sitting beside Toya. I don't have nothing to say that I ain't already seen. I don't have nothing to say. Because you know who wouldn't enjoy that date? Um, you know who would have uh, been in the car giving up the gulp gulp 3000 on the way home? I'm just saying. Ciao.
Let's move on. Let's move on. So Phaedra invited the girls to a Reiki party, which is uh, the healing using sound waves and energy. Um, Simone is flirting with the shaman. Um, Jackie is semi sort of open to it. Um, Heavenly laughed when she first walked in and she just said, You know, Lord, cover me in the blood of Jesus Christ. And, you know, we're gonna go ahead and she say, I'm gonna have an open mind because it's Phaedra. Um, Sweet Tea says she had been to one before. And hers could tell the future. And hers told her that she was going to be married with someone that was, to someone that was well off. Because the shaman she had met with knew that she liked money. Sweet tea, what I tell you about talking like that? Girl, they ain't going to label you. But anyway. Um... Toyos, Alicia, Sweet Tea, all of them just pulled up. So we'll see how Alicia does with it. But so far, that's that's how the other ladies are are handling it. And when I say Simone is flirting with this man, she is flirting with this man. Like she was touching on this man arm, tattoos, and making little dirty jokes. And I'm just like, I'm... If anybody else was doing it, y'all would have called them out. Like, oh, you uh, trying to mess around on your husband, blah, blah, blah. It's like, y'all let certain people get away with shit, but whatever. I can't speak for y'all friendship, y'all friendship group. Yeah. But, uh, my best friend would call my ass out. Girl, shut up. Don't you got a man? Oh. They put me to sleep, child. They put me to sleep. Y'all see me? I keep rubbing my head. They put me to sleep. Between that and it's cold, they are putting me to sleep. But I'm going to get through this episode. I'm going to get through this episode. Gosh, I'm out. Woo. All the ladies did it, and they seemed to have enjoyed it. Heavenly actually surprised us all and said, Mmm, thing like this shit is actually working. Simone went to sleep. There's always one. There's always one that's going to go to sleep. Guaranteed. I always dated people that went to sleep in movie theaters. But then again, my daddy used to go to sleep in movie theaters too. So some people just, when they get into a calm setting, they going to close their eyes and go night-night. And that's what Simone did. She said, as the OBGYN, anytime I get to lay down and close my eyes, I'm going to sleep. You thought she was meditating. She was meditating on how she was going to go to sleep. <laughs> and y'all should have expected that. <laughs> No disrespect to, you know, what they're doing. But that lady tired. I mean, you... Whew. Doctors don't get no sleep, child. They tired. You gonna take them to a doctor healing place where it's quiet at? And it's tranquil? Oh, you didn't want us to take a nap? I thought you just wanted to have a glorified sleepover with some flukes and stuff playing in the background. I mean... When they walked in, Sweet Tea said Phaedra was dressed like Erica Badu. She didn't even say hey. Mm. And if y'all hear some snoring in the background, the puppy is asleep. Like the mom. So, the shaman asked that anyone want to um, have the Reiki done on them individually and heavily said, well, hell, I do it. <laughs> um, so now Phaedra and her are having a private conversation and she's speaking about how not speaking to her sister is affecting her. And she went further to say, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's, what what to do about the bitch? And <laughs> they just say, well, first off, let's stop calling her a bitch. 
heavenly can't take her nowhere even in a zen garden she out there calling people bitch <laughs> oh i'm ready to get through this episode so i can take a nap like the puppy because he is when i say not he is a knocked like he's sitting in the recliner like he pay bills or something lay out snoring all right <sighs> So I have reached the end of the episode. It was a episode basically on healing. So I guess it was good vibrations because they all did something together and there wasn't all no bickering on this episode whatsoever. I mean what Toya was doing to her husband, but other than that, everybody else, the ladies got along. So Overall, it was a very nice, positive episode. Um, they spoke about healing. They spoke about infertility. They spoke about um, uh, the mortality rate amongst black women having babies. Um, yeah, they just spoke about a lot of health this episode, which I do appreciate. I do appreciate. I do appreciate. I love the medicine side to this. It's almost like watching like a documentary almost for me anyway. Um, so yeah, that part of it loved the reality TV part of it. I feel like this episode could have been on a history channel, maybe, <laughs> uh, or some type of healing holistic channel. Um, it wasn't like you know reality tv but nonetheless you know we need positivity over drama mess you know um but that's all i have for y'all for this episode thank y'all so much for rocking out with your girl thank you so much for subscribing for liking for commenting i'm about to take a nap i'm falling asleep while talking to y'all and it is so rude so nasty and so rude <sighs> but between that though, y'all, y'all should see. 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 Y